Oh, hey. The RB, huh? Yep. Nice. Yep. T, huh? Yep. Welcome to Camera Storage 101. Hey guys, welcome back. So if you're new to this channel, thank you for checking and watching this video. Be sure you subscribe for future videos if you find this entertaining and make sure you comment down below, say hi, and like this video as well. I would really appreciate it, it helps out a lot. Now, let's talk about camera storage. I've been hoarding, I mean, I've been collecting for a while now, and you get to the point where you just need a different option for storage. I mean, of course, it always starts with putting cameras on the shelves, and then maybe you don't like that, or maybe you just have one too many, and so it goes to the closet, and then a buried, you never see them again, or they're like tucked away in a corner, and it's just hard to get to. It just becomes yeah, kind of annoying and kind of difficult. So, you know, I started looking for a way to better store my cameras and have them quicker access and be able to get to them in and out without having them kind of clutter up the room or get in the way and everything. You know, one or two, you know, three, four, ten in the shelves is fine. But once you get to a certain point, you just, you have to find another solution, especially when people start asking you and then telling you to find another solution. Okay, question. Nikon or Canon? Well, that's easy, it's obviously. But no, in all seriousness, I have shelves over there in the corner there with all my medium format stuff. There's like six, eight different cameras on those shelves there. Uh, and that's, that's plenty, it takes up the room, unless you have a very, well, we won't get into what kind of room you need to display all those kind of cameras. I'm thinking 1924 US. He's the best example by far. But back onto this kick. What about for the average person who doesn't have a lot of space and needs things kind of tucked away, but you want to have easy access to it and make sure it's neat, clean, organized? Well, I think I found the solution. 35 millimeter or 50? 24 mil. Let me just let me just open this up real quick. Starting to get a little precarious up here. So this is my solution. So this is a cheap black wooden trunk that I found at a local thrift store. I think I paid $15 for it total. On the bottom I have six wheels, two fully rotating on the door, and then I have four more on the back wall here. This allows me to roll around easily without having to haul it up, and then also I can open and close it without having the front door sag or anything like that. Originally this interior was like yellowy white with some kind of weird pattern. All I did was take a few cans of spray paint, painted that, and solved that issue real quick. Inside, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five shelves dedicated to cameras and then on the door here since it's a narrow space and i didn't want to waste it completely i decided to utilize that with smaller shelves for the lenses that i use a lot so on the door side i have six shelves with all my lenses on the top the shelves are smaller for the smaller lenses such as the 35s 50s and things like that and then towards the middle they get bigger for 85s and maybe 135s and then the bottom shelf is a little bit bigger for those lenses that are just kind of awkwardly sized or maybe 
some macros and things like that. Not necessarily zooms, since I don't really use zooms a lot when it comes to film photography. Best beginner camera. It's not about the camera, it's about the photographer. Now, originally the plan was to put these shelves on rollers so we can pull them out and see all the cameras and kind of go through them and just make it a little bit easier. But this particular chest has very thin walls, so I would have had to put another layer of quarter inch or half inch plywood or something inside that, and it would have really taken away from the space. And since it's a smaller one already, I didn't want to do that and lose more space that I knew I was going to need in the long run. So the bottom one actually is on little rollers there, so it just rolls out nice and easy. And then when I'm done with it, I can just slide it back in. Also, another thing to be aware of if you end up deciding to kind of put something like this together for yourself is to make sure you have the clearance on each shelves on both the door and the main compartment. Uh, as far as lining them up, if you do, make sure they're not going to butt and keep the door from closing. And also, if you put them on sliders, make sure that these don't stick out too far so you can't open up that slider. In addition, if I want to put things on top that are just even more regularly used and an easy access for, all I did for that is I cut off the top of each of these sides and put it on hinges. So if I want to get something on this side without opening up the entire chest, all I have to do is lift this up and then I have access to everything on that top shelf. Same for this side, if I want to get something here, all I have to do, pop that right open. I have access to all my adapters, any lenses, little things that I might need off that top shelf. Glasses or contacts? Really? Is that a real question? For the interior, I just used a cheap kind of popular wood and then just put a very simple stain on to kind of give it a little bit more aged and vintage look just to kind of go with what I'm using this chest for. I did put two inch strips of wood along the edges here. Since it is a cheaper wood, it does split very easily and I didn't want to drill straight into the shelves and worry about those kind of giving out. So I use those as kind of supports for the shelves and then just kind of place the shelves on top. On the other side here, for the lenses, same thing, I use a little spacer and the shelves on top of that. And then to keep the lenses from falling out at all, all I did was drill little pilot holes along the way. And then I used small wooden dowels you can get at Home Depot. I think it's like two, three bucks for a pack of 50. And I placed those wooden dowels along the way. Just tapped them in with a little bit of wood glue, put a little notch in each one using a knife or a saw or anything like that. And then just took string and tied it along the way to keep those lenses from popping out. It still gives me plenty of clearance to go in, grab something, pull it out, but I can set it in there and know that it's just not going to pop out randomly. Camera bodies, I'm not as worried about that. They have more space, they have more clearance, and I'm not opening that part. It's the door that I'm opening, and I want anything to get stuck or jerk and have something fall out and crack some expensive glass. I have my lenses and accessories for my medium format cameras. So my RV67 lenses, my Mia C330 lenses, some adapters, some fill backings, things like that. On this next shelf, I have my Nikons, so I have F1s, F2, F3, down here I have FG, I have my FM, I have my Nikkor mats, and I have my EM. And then the last two is basically just range finders and a few other odd cameras that I just hang on to. Very simple, very effective, and great for storing your cameras. <sighs> what filter do you use the most? Yeah, I use filters. Filters are great. That's not an answer. You know it's not an answer. So now as cool as this is, I know some of you are thinking about the issue of storing your lenses in something like this where there's no sunlight. For those of you who don't know, you kind of want your glass to have access to sunlight. That way you reduce the risk of having fungus build up in your lenses. So I am aware of that and although I am a slightly worried about that potentially happening, I'm in here often enough to where it's not overly concerning to me and if it becomes an issue, I can quickly remedy that, figure something else out and kind of move things around. still have an answer to the question.
Also, if you store this near a window or if you store it in your room, you can very easily just open the door and leave it open and use it as a display piece as well. And then you don't have to worry about keeping your lenses in the dark like this. Lastly, another thing I did consider to do was to cut out a square in this front piece and then insert a piece of plexiglass into that. So that way the front is actually see-through, but you still have the frame of the chest. I ended up not going that route just because I wasn't sure how it was going to look uh, and I didn't want to spend that much time on it. I needed a solution quickly and effectively that was relatively good looking. Uh, so this is kind of what I came up with. But I think the plexiglass could be a great way to kind of allow light to get in there so you don't have to worry about your lenses as much while also keeping it compact, tucked away and inside. So some of you might not need this much storage. Some of you might not want this much storage because you'll have a problem like I do. So this just I'm gonna say it's about two feet by four feet. Close enough, foot and a half, three feet, whatever, same thing. So this is kinda on the smaller size, small to mid. Obviously you can go much larger if you want, but you don't necessarily have to use a chest. You could use a small box of some sort and kinda do the same type of thing. And if it's small enough, you don't need to put wheels on it. You could put it on your desk or something like that and just have the door pop open when you need to. Another alternative is you don't have to have cameras on every shelf. You could do just three shelves and then have each shelf dedicated to a certain camera and the accessories. You could even put film in there if you wanted to. As long as you go through it quickly enough, you don't have to worry about cold storage. Uh, really, you could use this to store all of your photography or film photography gear all in one location. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about it, but this is the solution that I found. So. Let me know how you store your film gear. I'm very curious. Comment down below what the solutions you have for storing all your film photography, cameras, accessories, lenses, etc., all of the above. Uh, I'm always open to new suggestions. But until then, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. Who are you voting for? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm out of here. Not today, Satan. Dude, come on. It was a joke.